today on NPWA Wrestling, we have a top contenders match for the heavyweight title of the world. Tony Black will be challenging Triple Terror member, The Bad Boy. And I have made the rule known that the winner of this match will be the number one contender for the world title, whether it's Hollywood or not as champion. And now one more stipulation. We have a special referee, and the special referee is the world heavyweight champion, Hollywood. So we will see what happens when Hollywood referees the bad boy versus Tony Black. Why am I making these rulings all of a sudden? In a few moments, I will show you something that disgusted me. The treatment of a championship belt. This was a few weeks ago. Connecticut champion, the Bounty Hunter, against the world champion, Hollywood. It was a matchup that many of you have seen. If you haven't, here's what happened in the end. When they find out about it, it's gonna be too late. It's gonna be too late. <laughs> Get in. Let me hit some music here. Music? What are we gonna listen to? Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. It's time to get extreme with the NPWA. So, wow. We're out there, man. We are totally out there. Made it. 
park guy, I heard. Yeah, some, I, I think he was a close personal friend of mine. Just nice. Get a good look out here. Wow. And Sandy, what I want you to do now, just focus out there. Okay. And uh, what you're going to see next is what I think of the MPWA Connecticut title. Wow. Okay. So you focused out there? Yeah, I'm focused. I'm focused. Oh, I didn't even get it. Did it? No, I couldn't even get it. Good thing they didn't get it. Nonetheless, he threw the Connecticut title right there where the bubbles popped up. Sonny D might not be a cameraman in the NPWA, but I'll tell you what. You better have a lot of money on him, because him and the bad boy have a lot to pay for. We'll be back with the bad boy in action in just a moment. Ladies and gentlemen, this next contest is scheduled for one fall. Welcome to NPWSA. Bill York Bronson City, here with Tom the G. Bronson, what the heck was with Mr. that opening? Mr. What is wrong with, the, with Sonny D and the bad boy? Those guys are mentally challenged. You know, that's just another reason for me to beat the car out of Sonny D. Well, they didn't really get a good shot of it, but the Connecticut title is in fact. It's a dirty, dirty polluted pond as we speak. A dirty polluted pond right here in the middle of the pond. I ain't going in there to get that boat back. They're just going to have to pay for it. Uh-oh. Speaking of non, there he is. Your favorite, Sonny D. Non. Why don't you just wrestle that guy? Bronson, I told you, I've beaten the man. How many more times do I have to beat this jabroni? I went to the dugout. I don't ever think I've embarrassed this man. He's embarrassed I him. put him in his place. You put him in his place, yes. I mean, the guy just doesn't shut his mouth. And you know, Bronson, you're right. I may have to once and for all finish the deal with Sonny D. Deal him a meal, if you will. Dennis Anderson, whatever. Grave digger. Well, is that who you are? He's paying the, the price digger? now because that Obviously Connecticut title officially between him and the bad boy. The Undisclosed mm -hmm. amount of money. They will be right. paying wow. for that. No wonder I got my. Well, I know how much on. money they're going to be paying. And he's got his sunglasses on too, obviously. The reflection is. We're going to have a special referee for this matchup. This eyes. match is a top contenders now, match. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. What a jerk, Sonny D is, man. What a jerk. I bring out the greatest 
organization in the history of the NPWA. The Triple Terror. All right. You're a there, like a Stop eating. Obviously. Here they come. Why you're eating. Feeding your mouth. First of all, I know announced the special referee. Seems like we're gonna have a long good in here. Anyway, here's the referee. Sonny D is just rambling on. We gotta go down there and just shut him up. Well, Brown, you wanna do a professional? I'm here to do commentary. I'm a broadcast journalist right now. Being brought down by Ray Fire Wings. 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 Being well, you never go down there and meet the booth, and uh, I guess you're following your stipulations that you don't want to pay the penalties of doing so. But there comes a point where you just got to do it. Well, Bronson, I'm sure it'll happen. I'm sure there will be a point. And I'll take that point, and I'll spear Sonny D right in his butt. Because the guy's a jerk. He's an idiot. He's a bum. He belongs at the bottom of that pond with the Connecticut... The state champion. We haven't heard any word from the bounty hunter, but I guess from what I'm hearing from other people, he will be back eventually in the NPWA. He's cleared up a few minor injuries from that matchup where he fought Hollywood. And he will be back. Still Connecticut champion though, but I guess we're going to have to get a new belt for him or something. No, I, my computer was down here. You know, all the, all, you know, my... Why are you going to buy that trip a new belt? This really stinks. <laughs> I mean, you know, I might not. No, I might just forget I mean, about it. Money. I ought to cut back on the expenses. It's like a medal or a ribbon. It's a ribbon. Oh, that's right, that's Let's right. give okay. an old trophy. All right, now I got his memo. He comes in at a flip, trip, bump, triple, rip. You know, Bronson, if I wanted to see any of this, I think I'd tune into a show that comes on about 1 o'clock on a Saturday morning. Well, I'll tell you, I'd rather see the professionals do it than these guys. You know, they say imitation is the most sincere form of flattery, but anybody that these guys are imitating must be rolling over in their graves, let me tell you. Past the whole introduction. Oh no. I just want to let everybody know. No, it's also a, it's a hot day here at NPWA Arena. And I think the bad boy thinks that that's an ice cream sandwich. This morning, <laughs> He's got the microphone in his mouth. He looks like Dick the Bruiser. Dressed in all black in the hottest day of the year. Hey, heat waves have been going on here in the Northeast. We've had to shut down the state to save air conditioning and energy and all that. You know the bad boy's feeling it. You know. Well, you know, Bronson, you know what the problem is. You know, I'll save everybody a lot of money right now. It's all these fat people sitting down in front of the refrigerators with the door opening, you know, and eating all the food in there. And they got the AC on and the fan blowing. And they got a head in the freezer. Bunch of jerks, bunch of fat people like the bad boy raking up the electric bill for everybody else in the state like you and I. All the thin people. What's up? All right, the referee is Hollywood. He was appointed referee. The winner of this match is going to be the number one contender. If it's the bad boy, well, Hollywood and the bad boy could become a future match in the future for the title. Whether they like it or not. All righty. Now it's the bad boy. He, I am going to win this match by using my world famous power bomb. He's got a. Oh, thanks for this telling match that. by telling us every word out of his mouth. Why does he just leave the commentary to us? <laughs> Referee, uh, this is the first official I've ever seen oh, in any sport hey, hey. smoking a cigarette while doing his job. That's Hollywood. Oh. Hey, he's the champ. Oh. Do what he wants. Oh, he's standing out in back. It is totally a one-sided match, but regardless of what happens, whoever wins will be the number one contender as far as I'm I will never understand how a great athlete, a wrestler such as the champ himself, Hollywood, 
could align himself with a couple of goofballs like Sonny D and the Bad Nine. Wow, what a maneuver. I can't believe he got his leg all the way up there, Brownson. Oh, wow, 700 pounds coming down right in the back of Tony Black. Wow. He got his leg up there and he dropped down on him. Shades of earthquake. Look at Sonny D doing like the ballet strut there. Well, he looks like he's very happy this week. Looks like he's got hemorrhoids. Shot now by Tony Black. Takes the bad boy down a third one. Tony Black outnumbered here. He turned his back on the dirty white boy. That's unsettled. Now he's got the whole triple terror around the ring while he wrestles the bad boy. Brownson, some strange goings on here in the NPWA. Yes, indeed. A lot of things going down, a lot of things happening. The action never seems to stop in NPWA Arena. Shoulder block and Bad Boy goes down. Wow, you like that maneuver. I can't believe the Bad Boy actually went down. Must have lost balance. Well, it's easy for the bad boy to lose balance. They call you the sewer rat, huh? Now the bad boy's back on the offense. A couple boots in the midsection. Knee lift sends Tony Black down. You know, appearance-wise, the bad boy reminds me, what is this, the reverse Texas roast beef? I was going to say, appearance-wise, the bad boy reminds me of the great Abdullah the Butcher. <laughs> When he takes his shirt off, yeah. watch out! <laughs> All right, come on, come on, come on. Get back in here, get back in here. Tony Black's having a rough time here. Everybody's in this hot sun this week. And you know why the bad boy also wow. reminds me of Abdul the Butcher? Because Abdul the Butcher always carried a fork on him. <laughs> and so does the bad boy. He can't matter fact, oh. he's fucking his food. Anyway, look at a series of kicks in the midsection. Tony Black by the bad boy. Oh! What a heavy clothesline. Short arm clothesline. That was a good one. I'll give it to the bad boy there. He took that right out of Jake Roberts' book. Looks to me like the bad boy has got this match under control. He's had a lot of the offense here. Just seems to be toying with Tony Black. And that's probably because he knows the official is on his side. He missed! Almost tore the whole buckle down. Cover! One! Two! You gotta be kidding me. That was a three count as far as I'm concerned. Well, I don't know. I think Hollywood was in at the uh, same school that I went to. It's a referee. Hey, bad boy, grab well, as long as there's a winner in this match. Tony Black, bad boy. Whoever wins will get a shot at the world title sometime in the future here on NPWA Wrestling. Now, Bronson, explain to me why would Hollywood want to wrestle the bad boy? I don't think Hollywood even realizes the consequences that would happen between the triple terror if the bad boy did in fact win. Last time they wrestled, it was a big setup by them. This time, if they do wrestle, we're not going to fall for any of that. Well, Bronson, you should make some sort of rule where there must be a winner. None of this garbage going on with a, a non-match and no wrestling and cahoots and what have you. Well, I bet you that's that, a bunch of malarkey. I bet you that the bad boy would love to wrestle Hollywood, but I don't think Sonny D or Hollywood want the dissension to happen in the camp because the bad boy is only thinking of one thing, and that's himself. He wants that heavyweight title. He wants that big meal, that well, big entree things. that comes with it. He wants everything. Wow. wow. Ring the ears there. Rang the bell. You can hear the after effects. That's not the bell for the matchup. Probably was Tony Black's bell. After this matchup, we're going to take a look at an individual that probably wishes he was a number one contender as well. And uh, from what I'm hearing, he's coming back next week. And that's Hot Body Brown. We'll take a look at how the Triple Terror put him on the shelf for over three months. 
me tell you, I can never take anything away from Hot Body Brown. He's my favorite wrestler. One of the greatest athletes, the first ever NPWA heavyweight champion. Gotta hand it to him. Hot Body Brown is the man in the NPWA. Well, he was in uh, Cancun, Mexico for a couple months there, rehabilitating his, his knee. He had a surgery on it. And we'll show you how that happened after this match with the bad boy at Sunny D. Put a double ankle lock or leg lock on Hot Body Brown and tore the ligaments right out of his knee. My name. My name. Well, speaking of Cancun, I want to thank Hot Body Brown for that awesome t-shirt he brought me back from Cancun. A little souvenir from the... Got it from a pawn shop, probably. What are you talking about? I heard that was like like a thousand pesos for that shirt. He got ripped off then. Tony Black now with the leg locked up on the bad boy. When you got the bad so, so boy down, lock. when you got the bad boy on his back, that's like the best place to get him because the big man can't really get, oh no, wait. Oh no. And the official at Sunny D, a, a perfect distraction. This match is going the bad boy's way. That was a cheap shot. You know, Bronson, once again, that's why Ladies should not be allowed at ringside in the NPWA. There's no place for women in the NPWA. They ought to be home barefoot in the kitchen, squeezing out kids and making oh, some pasta. His poor ankle. Oh, no. Bad boy just ripped Tony Black's ankle right out of its kneecap there. He got the rope. Now Tony Black's out of there being taunted by Sonny D with a cane. Oh. Hollywood doesn't think he should be out there. I'm tired of this Get it on! What do you got? Bad boy now sizing him up. Chicken wing! Or what is it, a cobra clutch of sorts? I think it's a chicken wing. <laughs> well, that's what he calls it. related to wrestling maneuvers. Oh. Wait a second. Come on now. Where's the official? He's out of the... Another one. This guy is gonna be going to the uh, doctor to get things I think he's checked. Gonna, he's gonna be going to Dr. Proctor because uh, he's not gonna have kids. Let me tell you, forget about little Tony Black's running around. Tony Black Jr., forget about it. Well, you gotta have a mate for that too. Oh, well, yeah, so he was already out to begin with. Maybe they're doing him a favor. I think they're just, you know, securing the future. Uh-oh. Tony Black drops down with a low blow, but then again, the belly got in the way of that one. Whips the bad boy into a reversal. Uh-oh. Oh, wow. That was like 700 pounds coming down right on top. Bad boy is Black. huge. He is bigger than ever. Oh, no, he just flipped him right over. Right into it. This is over. Wow. There you go. The Texas roast beef does it again. The roast beef is there. That was the Texas roast beef with cheese, I think, this week. Brown. Therefore, number one contender for the NPWA title is the bad boy. Hollywood doesn't even realize what has happened, I don't think. Well, Brown said that. You saw what the bad boy just did? Number one. Oh, yeah. A little shake, rattle, and roll there with the hips. One of these numbers. There he goes, over the top. You know, I can't say that I feel bad for Tony Black because the guy's a jerk to begin with, but he was robbed. He had all the odds against him. Four on one, if you will. Maybe five, because the bad boy's like the size of three people. Wait a minute here. Wait, wait a minute. Good. Yeah. We gotta fight the bad boys. This is another setup by Bronson. I don't believe it. Oh, Bronson, yeah, I think you zigged when you should have zagged. You got him. Does this mean that I have to. Wow, that is nah, no planning ahead of time on uh, anything. He just figured it out. This is so unbelievable. You know, that's Bronson. how I know Hollywood has been spending too much time with the terror really there. Can't get his Come up with all together. these special stipulations where I have to be the guest referee. A top contenders match. Now this, this is bogus. I'm, I'm out of here. 
Well, we'll find out in the future. Well, what's going to happen with Hollywood and perhaps the bad boy meat in action? Meat. You said meat. Steak. Potatoes. Ham and eggs, I think, are his favorite meal. Here's the saucer again, the, the ice cream saucer. Okay. That means Hollywood, you and me have to go at it. He don't care. Because we know how Bronson works. He'll make us wrestle. So, Bad boy looks hot. Then, he's the luckiest man on the planet. Oh, so here's a uh, replay. Oh! Look at that. I think that was the second Galata. Yes. And then from there, he gave him a sidewalk slam. That was the sidewalk spam, that's called, I believe. The spam, yes. The spaminator. And then he turned this roast beef right into, well, the, the, the spaminator right into the Texas roast beef. Get it straight. Let me call it Shaft Bronson. When it comes to food, I know the bad boy. I've seen him eat. I've seen him swallow whole turkeys, OK? With the feathers popping up. Feathers and all, claws and beaks. Combs and everything. Well, there he is. The and sexiest number one contender wow. for the NPWA title. Bouncer Rick Root is rolling over in his grave. Well, let's take a look. Woo! Here's some sexy people. This is actually uh, where Hot Body Brown was for three months. Over three months. Cancun, Mexico, but no wonder he didn't come back. Well, he got his... Rehabilitation, they call it. That's where he was. But next week, apparently, he's coming back. Oh, anyway. So everybody's pointing the finger at me. Well, this is what happened to him last time we saw him. Sonny D and the bad boy, they set him up for that triple terror match. But how it was supposed to be a match that I set up with Hollywood, the bad boy, and Sonny D. But Hollywood didn't show up. So Hot Body came in, told him he'd fight them both. Here's what happened. And they just destroyed it. Bad boy bouncing off the ropes like a big, big, big boy. Oh my god. From what I know, Hot Buddy Brown still had to get uh, crutches. Or that's the last thing he's been seen with crutches. For three months, so he should be off of him any time. He'll probably be off of him next week if he does show up. Oh, I'm sure he will. If, if Hot Body Brown says you're going to be here, then he's going to be here. You can mark his words. The man is a man of his word, and his word means everything to him, and that's the way it is. Well, he, he took some punishment, I'll tell you. I guess so. And there's the thing right there. It was on his right leg where the bad boy got it, where it dislocated and tore his ligaments. Well, I don't know what Sonny D's doing there. He, he, I guess he's just holding him down. Likes the company of other men or something. I don't know what's wrong with Sonny D. The guy's a jerk. Well, next week, we'll find out. But well, what about you? Maybe uh, you and Sonny D could go at it next week. Yeah, but I'll tell you, you know, I don't know if we're going to go at it. And, uh, I don't know if, if I got, if I could dirty my hands for a third time with this knucklehead. Well, Sonny D will be here. Next week, the number one contender, the bad boy, will be in action. This top gun. Dan the man takes on the Dark Lord. Plus, a whole lot more. So for Bill Bronson and Tom the G. You know, Bronson, before I wrestle Sonny D, I, I gotta make sure it's okay with the lower power. Then maybe I'll wrestle Sonny D. Well, who's the lower power? Well, you that's my surprise. Up. I know who the lower power is, and you don't. And that's all you need to know. I'm not going to be surprised then, because I wasn't too infatuated with any powers. There is no higher power in the NPWA, my friend, I'll tell you that. That's why I'm going to talk to the lower power. Well, you do that, and next week, maybe we'll find out who the lower power is. And there is the former champion being helped out. We'll find out how he's going to feel next week. Plus a whole lot more. So for Bill Bronson, Tom the G, and his lower-powered friend, we'll see you next week. Who is it? It's a surprise. Oh, by the way, go see Star Wars.